What's up guys, it's HTG Brian, and guess what? It's time to bonus level. That's right, it's Lego Batman Wayne Manor, which happens to be the first bonus level we're gonna take on. We get an achievement called 1007 Mountain Drive, and we get that for obtaining one million studs. Now, in the normal bonus levels, you gotta smash, bang, and boom everything around the room and find a ton of studs, all sorts of sizes. And this one, it's not the same. We only need 100 purples. So in order to do this, you should have completed all of the free play and unlocked all of the mini kits. Once you have the mini kits all done did, it should open up the door of Wayne Manor. To get there, we're going to go to the right side of the Batcave and go up the old elevator. Up inside the hero trophy room, we're going to go to the back left corner and there should be a, a doorway now. There's always been a gate here, but now it's unlocked. Lock, lock. So we'll go ahead and advance in. Now we do have quick links down below in the video description and it really doesn't matter who you choose. We just went with the stock choosings of the game here and we're loading in. We're gonna start off by going to Batman in the demo suit and we need to blow up all of these rock piles on the ground. Uh, pretty simple stuff. You just need to run all the way over and get them all. Now we started on the right and that's because you gotta blow them all up and once they're all gone, it actually grows a bunch of flowers. Then you have to take those flowers out and then a stud actually pops up in that back right garage over there. And, and it actually opens up the garage right now as soon as we get done with these rocks. But uh, it just worked out best for us to go all the way over here and then back over there and then collect the stud and then come back to this far left corner because there's a computer that needs to be built. But I'm getting ahead of myself. So once you take out all of the rocks with the bomb, 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 bombs, you should find a bunch of flowers. Now take all these out, as I just mentioned, and it will spawn a stud right next to that red go-kart inside that garage. And that's going to be the only stud we grab in this area. Now, areas are broken down into five sections, which is where the quick links are. And basically, we got kind of a goal or a milestone that you should have accomplished by the time you get to the end. So in this case, you need one 10,000 stud. And boom, we just got it. So we're good to go here. We're going to go ahead and make our way to the back left corner and take out all of these black bins. And inside these bins is going to be a bunch of bouncing bricks. And we're going to build those up into the computer. And then we got to use Robin in the techno suit to get our oomts, oomts on. And once we do that, we should hop in the chair and basically just watch the computer. And after a few seconds, it zaps us into another world. It's actually the next section. And we'll go ahead and take on a bunch of studs there. Now, this one is a little bit more like the old Mario Brother games, as it's a kind of a 2D or 3D platformer where we're side-scrolling. Now, there's a lot going on, but it's pretty simple. We're going to break it down and, and make it as easy as possible for you. Look at Robin. He's like, woo to the who. It's time to zap us out of here. Maybe. Platform. Here we go. All right. Here we go. So check this out. We're going to start off by smashing a couple of these dark or charcoal-based bricks. Now, there is one that's up high. And I recommend doing the old jumperini, and you should be able to jump up there and get it. Now, I do want to point something out, too. Much like other platformers, such like Little Big Planet, there is sort of a front and a back, as well as a left and a right. You want to make sure that you're sort of centered in the middle in order to jump up and hit those bricks. Some of them might not pop off because you might be standing too far to the back or too close to the screen. And I'll show you here in a second what I mean, because... Uh, it's kind of a funny angle to begin with, but all right, we're going to use the old Boeinger and jump up high and double jump over. And again, all of these dark bricks should be able to be taken down via like a batarang, robberang, you know, a whip, something like that. But sometimes there's an order to them. Notice I couldn't take out the bottom two. I had to take out the top one first. Now here, let's look. See how it can be too far back, too far forward. Definitely be aware of that as you're going through if you're having trouble smashing or booming some of these boxes. Now, it's pretty simple. You guys know silver brick breakers require bombs. And, of course, the glowy blue glass ones require sonar. And it's basically just making your way all the way through. Now, you can see in the bottom right hand, or sorry, bottom left hand, I pulled the doggy. woohoo. Bottom left hand corner, we've got 480,000 studs. Now, that's how many you need by the time you get to the very end here. So just be aware of that. Now, there is a double jump point here where you got to get up on the old tightrope, smash a box up above, and then drop a bomb on the left. Then we got to tightrope all the way over to the right. And guess what? We got to get another stud over there. So 
Switch back to a double jumper if you didn't manage to stay up top and get up there. And again, if you're having trouble smashing some of these brown boxes, make sure you're sort of centrally located within the brick. So not too far forward towards the screen or not too far away from the screen either, but right in the middle. All right, you can see we used our first sonar gun there. We got another boinger that needs us to get up top here. We're going to need bomb, 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 bomb. Now, I will say the AI, I would actually prefer it if the game would have only had one of the characters in here versus two. Now, there's a few times it actually comes in handy, but ultimately, even later, I actually sort of intentionally <laughs> drown or jump off the ledge and, and make the AI sort of swim and get out of our way. Now, this one's one of the trickier ones. You need to actually take out that silver over box there and then push the blue one all the way over before jumping on that blue box though we got to get down here and grab that one with the silver brick oh no but the reason for that blue box is because once you jump on it it actually makes some other blue boxes appear period like for a very short time and again some of these brown boxes you're gonna want to be centrally located otherwise they might not break for you the second blue switch allows us to slide down and get into this little crevasse where I'm sort of stuck between a bomb and a hard place here. Then we're going to need to toggle over to a character with toxic immunity so we can get in there and pick up those couple there. And then we need old moon boots to walk up the old metallic wall there. And of course, we've got another blue box to stand on and a boinger to get up on. This one is a little tricky too. You gotta target the closest charcoal or black box next to you. And I recommend you use a floater, somebody like Penguin to go ahead and grab these three so you don't drop down on the left side and have to use moon boots to get back up again. It's not really a race to get to the finish, but they do time you. And I'm sure some of you will be like, ha I beat you. Cause some of you are probably gonna be faster than me. But meanwhile, I'm gonna go ahead and use the sonar gun up top right and take out that other one. And now we should be able to drop down below and take out another one of those charcoal boxes. That one's kind of hidden, easily missed. And I recommend uh, you store, sort of stay low. I get r a good rhythm going here on these orange boxes where I jump up, take out the stud, jump to the next one, jump over. But it's very possible you could miss one of the lower purple studs. The ends, the left and the right, both have a low purple stud as well. So make sure you grab both of those. You can see I was kind of second guessing my grabbings there and it turns out I had it. So good for me. Oh no. Uh, let's see here. We'll make it across here on our first attempt. I'm sure of it. Uh, we have not failed already a couple. <laughs> all right, anyways, we're gonna make it all the way over here. Nice big long double jump and another silver block. Now we are getting really close to the end. You notice up top we got 450,000. We only need 480 to finish this area up and feel confident before we move on. Now keep in mind, you want to not jump into that little uh, spot there. You want to jump over and get the old blue box first and then jump in. Now if everything's good, you should have 490,000. You should be good to go. Now, if you messed up and you maybe missed one, you can drop down below to the computer and reload into that area. But if you're ready to go, grab the stud right here and jump onto this new computer, which will take us to a whole new area where we got to push this bomb, 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 bomb all over the place. Now, this is where I talked about dropping the AI into the water, sort of letting them drown, if you will. They just really swim around. No, no there's, there's no many figs that were lost in the making of this video. So we're good to go there. But basically, there are a ton of these bomb... I don't, they're like little twirlier, I don't know, propellers, whatever you want to call them. Uh, take them all out, though. And you just got to push these bombs. Now, there's like six different bomb spawn points. And whichever one is closest to the ones, or whichever one you want to use, is fine by me. There's also those weird, like, floating tank things. I guess you can tow them around. I kind of mess with them a little bit to check it out. But I found it was just easier to sort of push them around. Now, I also found that if you are right behind it, pushing it fastly, it actually sort of becomes almost invincible. If you sort of give it a push and let it roll out on its own, it often will explode, as you can see. And my best piece of advice is just stay patient with it and, and just be ready to throw a bunch of these balls off the ledge. I mean, you can see I'm constantly moving, sort of pushing it towards the direction where I think it needs to be. Look, I messed up on that one big time. No worry. We'll go grab this other one instead. And you just got to play this and get them all done did. Now, there are, let's see, how many other? There are 50 of them. 50 of these guys scattered throughout. And by the time you get them all, it will say 990,000 if you've been following along and doing it properly with us. Now, look at that. I, there's a funny angle there. I, you can't see there's a ledge there. I messed that up, but it's easily done. You just jump up to this one, 
push it down the way, kind of push it up as you go towards the end, let it respawn, come back. Now, pay attention to that lever there. You see that lever? Do not use that yet, especially if you're trying to beat your best friend or your little brother or big sister's time, whatever it is, because that will actually take you back to the outside of Wayne Manor. And there is one final stud there, which we will grab. However, we don't want to have to load back into the computer and all that again. So try to avoid pulling the lever until you are ready to roll out, which again, you want to make sure you have 990,000 studs before you move on out. Now this lower section here, I recommend just pushing one off to the left, let it respawn to the right, respawn. And you know, I kind of played the old character switcheroo here. If you notice, I'm almost always trying to run one character away from and then toggling to the other one so, so that it's like the closest one because he will get in your way or she, depending on who the character is. It's definitely not fun. Um, once all of these bottom left ones are done, you're going to want to grab this and get up over this ledge here. This is a little bit of a funny angle, you guys. I messed it up multiple times here. I do get up over the ledge. Turns out there's another one over there much easier to get. So don't worry about it too much if you're having troubles getting that up there. Because you're going to have to do some trickery here in a second. There's actually a, a couple down on this low, low left that are not fun. In fact, we'll try to get those now. I got really lucky pushing that one up over the top. Got a double whammy. And again, it's a lot of just pushing it over the ledge, letting it respawn, and giving another go at whichever one is closest. And this one, I think I get lucky there too. I mean, seriously. Oh my goodness. Now watch, I run away and I toggle to Robin because he's closer. Otherwise, he would have gotten involved in, and maybe messed up where I was running. And of course, there's one up here, easy peasy. I just recommend tossing that one off. This one, you just want to bring this one back down the old ramp. Luckily, Robin was there that time because I sort of pushed it off the wrong way. Now, there's a couple down in this lower left right side, which, yikes, both my characters fall in. That's something I haven't mentioned either. If both characters fall in, it'll almost always jump one of them back up, and you should be able to toggle up to it. If that does not happen, like it's right now, you're going to want to toggle to whoever's closest to a ramp and then use the ramp to get up. Now, uh, again, funny angle. You're going to kind of want to stay low middle and then push it over. Ah, I messed it up. So third time is the charm here. I guess it's the rule of three for me, too. And look, Robin finally pops up. Handy dandy. All right, I think. All right, finally snuck that by. Booyah kashow. All right, so we've got 860,000. We're getting pretty close. We only need 13 more before we're ready to move on out of here. Now, again, there's all sorts of spawn points for these bombs. There may even be seven or eight of them, actually. I, I didn't really count uh, there's almost always one close by wherever you need to be. So if, if you're feeling like you have to push one a long ways, there might be one closer. These guys down here are pretty simple, but the AI gets in the way so much. So this is where I definitely recommend jumping off and then toggling in mid air so that you can control the character up top and not have to deal with him getting in your way. In fact, I think I fall off right here. I toggle over, and he stays in the water for a little bit. It, it's not forever, and, and sometimes it's almost immediately they jump back up, but sometimes they stay down there quite a bit, and it's totally worth it. So we're going to try to get these guys in the upper left here. Oop, there we go. Robin's in. Come on, Robin. Jump on in. The water's warm. Look at this. Round the horn we go, and whoo-hoo, got lucky there. Notice it kind of sits there for a minute before it gets under, but it's all good. And then we'll make this guy go up and down to the left. All right. Respawn him. And again, toggle the Robin because he was closer. I just run away with Batman to get him as far away and then, of course, toggle back. All right. So we only need four more, you guys. We're getting pretty sneaking close here. We'll drop this guy. I got really lucky on that angle there. And I try to push him all the way. I think I get two. Nope. One. All right, and then we got to go back up. So this one is a little bit, this is probably the furthest push. And you can go top left or top right, whichever one you want. They both come come down a little bit and then roll down this hill and then make some ground over to the right. And boo you show. And then I just got those last two. Let's see if I can nail it in the ones. Or... All right, we'll go ahead and grab this guy. Notice again, I, I ran past it and then toggled. So I had a little bit more control. Oh, no. Oh, I got so lucky there. Little Ronaldo over the edge there. Boo, you can shout. 990. So I'm officially done with this area. You can see I'm jumping for joy. I'm going to flip the switch. It's actually going to spawn me on the right tower of outside of Wayne Manor. Look at that. Boo, ya, kashow. All studs collected. 30G for a 1007 Mountain Drive achievement, which we just unlock, lock, 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 lock. 
All right, guys, there's really not a whole lot of stats to check out here, but it is level complete. Of course, that was my first and only time, well, on the Xbox. I did give it a go on the PlayStation side for my scouting run. But hey, uh, we got one more bonus level. This was supposed to be hard. Hopefully, I helped make it easy for you. I found it relatively easy after I figured out what I needed to do. And oh, to the, yeah, hopefully you did too. <laughs> Anyways, that's going to go ahead and do it for me, guys. As always, until next time. Do 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 do.